Hello and welcome to Palmar Updates. I am Pratiksha Gadkira and we are joined by Mr. Makran Dikshit, Head of Marketing at ONGC Petro Editions Limited. Thank you for joining with us on Palmar Updates. Sir. Let me first start talking to you about India's position right now in terms of a petrochemical powerhouse in the world. India probably is the sixth largest chemicals and petrochemical manufacturer in the world and maybe the third largest uh, chemicals or petrochemicals manufacturer in the Asia region. Now, uh, this uh, position I'm sure is going to improve the way, uh, the way the internal consumption is growing, the organic growth is taking place, over than organic growth, the way India is uh, 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 expanding on, uh, on many fronts, I'm sure uh, this position is definitely going to change. So let me then talk to you about what has been in the news, a gradual shift from linear to circular economy. So what are your thoughts on this? I mean, uh, this has been the uh, talking point, I don't know, for now last uh, so many. But as a, as, a, as a polymer man or as a petrochemical man, uh, we always have been worried about this issue. One day or other, it was definitely going to uh, come back. On an individual basis, as far as our company is concerned, we have started in a small way. Uh, we, 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 are, we are going and approaching the various schools in that area and insisting, uh, insisting upon proper use of plastic. Yesterday only uh, Honorable Minister was here and he says his target is going to be 33 kilometers of road per day. And in that entire constitution, if we use 10% of plastics, which is a very proven, uh, a proven method by even IIT Mumbai has suggested that 10% of plastics can be used and those roads will leave long. So if we talk about 33 kilometers per day and if we talk about the annual, I think the plastic waste is not enough even to go in those roads. So now let me then talk to you about the innovations brought on stream by ONGC Petro Editions Limited. See, in the field of chemicals or petrochemicals, the major advantage is to have the latest technology. That is the first part. I mean, we have a technology for, from a company called Ineos, uh, which is the latest generation technology, maybe dating back two years back or three back. For a company like Opal, which is started in February 2017, and it's, it's been a long journey for us because we, we waited almost for seven or eight years. but. We have, uh, we have garnered enough satisfaction from the customers. As far as the product, uh, um, I mean the marketing innovations are concerned, currently we are going through a phase where we are penetrating the market and uh, uh, the most innovative thing probably what we have done is that yes, along with the best quality available, our prices are attractive enough for the customers not to, not to attract any imports. Since we are at India Chem, you know, the 10th Biennial International Exhibition and Conference on Chemicals and Petrochemicals, so what are the market trends that you are currently witnessing here at India Chem? As yeah. far as chemicals are concerned, I mean, uh, it is an irony that the main feedstocks, ethylene and propylene, uh, probably uh, the rate at which they are going into polyethylene and polypropylene are much more compared to any other country. There is a humongous demand for uh, these products in the country. Uh, quite a few international uh, manufacturers, co-producers, I mean internationally uh, known petrochemical manufacturers are planning to come India and they want to set up a short for, shop in India for these products. Because these are the products where there is a value addition is probably uh, much, much, much higher than the polymers. So talking about the market trends, how has it changed over the last few years? See, the power, power centers have completely shifted. I mean, some time back it was the Middle East advantaged feedstock, which was, which was the main key point for, for the petrochemicals uh, market because uh, they had the feedstock, they had the advantaged feedstock, I would say, but they never had the market. So they were 100% dependent on exports to uh, the other countries. Whereas uh, countries like India always have been supported by own consumption, but unfortunately 70% of Indian crude is imported today. So we are, we are completely dependent on uh, imported crude for our uh, finished products. But at the same time, uh, the situation is different when it comes to refining because India has excess capacity in refining and in, you will find India exporting fuels to the neighboring country. So India always have a surplus naphtha, which is the main feedstock for any chemical or a petrochemical industry. So as the time goes on, probably, and unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't know, but this feedstock is available with most of the public sector undertakings, PSUs. So uh, everybody wants to take advantage of this additional feedstock. And I, I'm not surprised. There already a mega uh, company has been announced by uh, 
IOC, uh, HPCL, BPCL coming somewhere in Ratnagiri, a mega refinery partner, partnering Aramco is likely to come. I, I, do, I really do not... That's been in the news. Okay. Yeah, it's in the news. I don't know. I understand it is still on uh, a drawing board. But one day, if we, if that sees a light, then yes, I mean, there's an additional, maybe another 1.5, 1.8 million tons will be coming on the board. Another one to in the line to come is now Paradeep uh, refinery of uh, Indian oil. So with all this, I'm sure, I mean, India is uh, heading for good days in uh, petrochemicals and chemicals. We hope the best for you and thank you for speaking with us. This was Mr. Makran Dikshit speaking exclusively to Palmar Update on petrochemical industry in India. For more videos on plastics and petrochemicals, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Many thanks for watching.